great. Thanks for having me. Uh, it's great to have you here. You know, we've been getting a lot of questions on the internet about phased array oh. and, and ultrasonics. Mm -hmm. um, and we were wondering if you think that the market will move completely to phased array instruments in the near future? Well, that's a good question, actually. Um, I mean, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of value in what phase array has been bringing to the market, um, and it's definitely expanded its influence over the NDT market um, in the last 10, maybe 15 years, okay. um, and it continues to do so. So, so phase array is, is becoming more and more uh, accepted um, throughout the world, um, both as a replacement, in some cases, to radiography, uh, but also just as a replacement or an enhancement to the ultrasound technology that's been in place for, for quite a while. Um, and another, another great movement in the phase array world is actually the, the increased accessibility of that, uh, of that technology. Sure. So instruments, I mean, even as, as uh, recent as the introduction of our OmniScan SX uh, flaw detector, um, these kinds of instruments are, are bringing uh, the power of phase array technology uh, to a level where uh, it's very intuitive to use and it's uh, easier to implement in um, a variety of different industrial settings. Um, so th there's, there's quite a bit of value in phase array and it's definitely a growing um, area of, of, of the NDT world. Um, but as to its it, taking over completely for for conventional UT, um, I wouldn't say that that's something that's that's probably possible in the near future. Okay. Um, and I guess the the reason for that is is really that um, conventional ultrasound, first of all, has been very very well established yep. uh, for 50 years, for possibly more than that. Um, it's well uh, it's written into a lot of codes, um, especially with the with the code bodies, the committees that govern certain safety critical inspections. Sure. Um, and that's that's still a bit of an obstacle to our uh, to the phase rate technology um, being widely implemented in the NDT world. Um, there are some co bodies that have absolutely accepted phase array, and they've started to um, to use that as a not just an alternative, but as a primary method of inspection. Um, but the nature of code bodies and the nature of these kinds of safety critical inspections, sure. uh, it, people tend to be fairly conservative. Yep. Um, so they, there's still a lot of ground to cover uh, with with fully embracing phase array as as useful uh, for those kinds of inspections. Um, there's also uh, there is a certain amount of training that needs to go into phase array. Sure. Um, and like I said before, I mean, that, that's definitely gotten better. Um, yeah. The instruments have become much easier to use, much more intuitive. Um, and there are actually a lot more uh, training, training centers out there that have begun to use phase array and that are able to train on phase array. Um, that's actually a value uh, that Olympus can provide to our customers as well. Um, we have a, a global sales force that's very well trained in all of our disciplines. Um, and that global sales force has done an excellent job and continues to support our customers um, in aspects of training for the different technologies that we have. Um, but there's, there's, a, there's certainly an investment in training um, that, that needs to happen for phase rate to be fully, um, fully implemented in a lot of our service inspection companies that we work with and a lot of, of uh, smaller, smaller companies as well. Sure. Uh, the convention, um, conventional ultrasound is really a mature market. I mean, the products have matured over the years. Sure. How do you see these products changing? Well, you're absolutely right. I mean, there's uh, there's only so much we can do by the laws of physics with conventional ultrasound, and we've been doing a lot of that for for decades. Um, so it's a good question. I mean, you know, how we're we're going to be able to innovate basically with right. with the yeah. conventional ultrasound. Um, but I do still think that there's opportunity for that. Um, even even recently, we've started using uh, more digital signal processing okay. uh, to to improve some of the basics. So things like filtering of signals uh, to improve signal to noise ratio. Even things like controlling the, the pulsing of the sound and more digitally and having more uh, precise control over that. It really helps to aid in the sort of fundamental aspects of conventional ultrasound and produce uh, more more reproducible results um, and and increase the confidence level of the users of that technology. Okay, great. And do you see a lot more of uh, innovation going on with say um, uh, logging and and data and and how we're using the data now? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, there's 
even even as recently as probably five years ago, um, there were a lot of conventional ultrasound users, um, or, or really just NDT users, that were still doing a lot of their reporting and a lot of their data logging uh, manually by hand. I mean, they were using written reports. Um, that's changed quite a bit in the last couple of years. Um, so whether it's through green initiatives from some of the uh, some of the service providers, um, or it's just uh, better archiving of data um, in in more accessibility to that data, we've seen a really big trend in going completely digital right. and uh, getting away from any paper writing. So there's a lot of opportunity to enhance the way uh, that users can collect the data digitally on the instruments, um, the way that they can sort of transmit and share this data amongst their, their colleagues, and certainly uh, in the way that this data can be built into larger asset management software as well as just put into report templates. Right. So that's that's a pretty big opportunity for continued growth um, alongside the, the the standard ultrasound improvements that we talked about, the, the, the actual technology, um, there's that data as well. Very good. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. To continue the conversation, visit our social media channels or visit our website at olympus-ims.com. Thanks.